So now in this video, we're going to come back to the Zener diodes that I used in the last video. So we have at the power supply, the rails here, the bench power supply is set to 18 volts. Looks like it's just a tad bit lower here. But the main thing is it's quite a bit larger than any of the Zener voltages. So this one's the lowest one. We will do this one first. And I discussed this more in detail in my last video and some other videos. But you can see here that the Zener diode, which is reverse biased, is blocking 4.7 volts. So it lets whatever current through after 4.7 volts to hold it at 4.7 volts. So it doesn't work perfectly, but it works pretty well. This is a 9.1 volt Zener diode. You can see it's a tad bit more if we lowered the current a little bit, which adding a small load would do. It would be about spot on 9.1, but it's a little high now. And now we come to the 12 volts. And so the power supply at the rail has to be higher than 12 volts by probably at least a couple volts or so to uh, get a pretty accurate 12 volts. But there you can see, it's really close to spot on uh, 12 volts, just a tad bit higher. So in this video, what we're gonna do, we are going to, let's say with these voltages, we want them 0.7 volts higher for whatever reason. In fact, we're gonna look at reasons why later on. So over here, I have a rectifier diode. So it's not the normal rectifier diode I use. Usually I use the 1N4001. This is a 1N4148. And it is also a rectifier diode. It lets current through one way and blocks it the other way. It does a good job at that, but it can't handle as much power as the 1N4001. So this one can handle, if it's direct current continuous, it can handle 300 milliamps absolute maximum. You want to keep it below that. And if it's rectifying alternating current, well, it is passing current while it's forward bias, you want to keep it limited to 200 milliamps or less. That, those are the maximum values. So, in any case, what we're going to do, this, as we saw, was a 4.7 Zener diode. For 4.7 volts, this resistor is somewhat hot. And, uh, it's best to turn off the power, let it wait a little, but I'm in a hurry. So, we are not going to reverse this diode. It's a rectifier diode. We're going to forward bias this diode. And there we go. So it is set to conduct easy, but it still blocks about 0.7 volts. So, let's see how that affects our uh, Zener diode here. So, we can go across the Zener diode. I can either put the black probe there. 4.7 volts or to one of these jumpers that goes to the negative rail doesn't matter but there you can see 4.7 volts it's holding steady it may be even doing a little bit better because we have this extra diode but uh, we come here now you can see that it is about 0.7 volts higher than the Zener voltage so if you happen to have a Zener voltage you really like but you want it 0.7 volts higher for whatever reason I'll just yank this to get it out of the way then you can take a rectifier diode which is usually made of silicone there's other ones that will have other forward voltage drop but the silicone diodes they have a forward voltage drop pretty reliably of 0.7 volts and so again this will be about uh, that should have been oh I put the resistor to yeah, that's right. Oh, the Zener diode is off. There we go. I missed I missed a roll. That's really easy to do. So, first thing you should do, if the measurement's way off from what you expect, check your connections. So, that's one reason why I leave these mistakes in these videos, because they're common. And uh, they're a little more common when you're making videos, but they're still pretty common. So, there we go. A little bit more than the 9.1, but uh, pretty close. If we wanted about 0.7 volts higher, there you can see we have that right there and uh, so it's pretty simple you just stack up the uh, voltage drops and uh, in this case the voltage drops are part of a release valve to uh, direct current away from the output whenever the voltage gets uh, higher than what you want for whatever reason so 
of course different circuits use this in different ways they already have the slightly more than 12 volts but pretty close to 12 volts but again about uh, 0.7 volts higher and it uh, looks like it's re regulating it even better uh, this way with the uh, two the forward bias rectifier dial and the reverse bias Zener dial so in any case you can make slight adjustments to the voltage like this if we had uh, germanium diode somewhere uh, Schottky diode that has a lower forward voltage we can make a smaller adjustment uh, so you can make those adjustments so it's kind of fun just to do that but I will show uh, circuits that will like this effect uh, later on so in any case thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one